Can't believe it's time for another Monday vlog already. How's everybody doing? Hopefully you all had a great weekend. Mine was kind of busy. On Friday and Saturday, I was actually working on getting some used RC cars up and running again, cleaned up, because I think I'm gonna do another Whatnot stream. And if you're not familiar with Whatnot, it's a place where you could go and buy or sell collectibles and everything up to RC cars. And I did a stream on Whatnot a little while ago. It was really cool. Got to talk with a lot of people and sold some RC stuff. And so I think I'm gonna do it again. Again, get some of that used stuff out of here into new homes so somebody else could have fun with it. And so I'll have a link down below to my Whatnot channel. And I think if you sign up through my link, you get like $15 credit or something like that. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure if that's still active, but definitely you could follow me through the link. And I'll also put some posts up to just let everybody know what time and day that's gonna be. So definitely, you know, follow the channel, of course. And then on Sunday, just did some family stuff, hung out around the house, uh, played football, played tennis, watched some football. So had a lot of fun. Now onto the RC stuff last week was definitely a cool week for a new release. Uh, as I kind of hinted to you guys in the last Monday vlog, the RC four-wheel drive rock racer was announced and this thing got a lot of buzz around it. It was a lot of fun to drive. I really enjoyed it, although they didn't put a lot of oil in my shocks. Although it looked kind of realistic. I, I, it, there was that going for it, but it could definitely use some heavier oil. And then it was actually brought to my attention that there was an issue with the batteries. And I, I just kind of want to show you guys uh, what I did during my testing. When I was driving the rig, I was using these Helios packs and they're a soft case battery pack. So they went right in with no problem, but I was told that the hard case packs don't really fit. So afterwards I went and tested it and yeah, they don't fit. So I, I kind of missed that there. So obviously I apologize for missing that. It was not intentional at all. And I put a note in the video description for that video. And it looks like you could go and grind out the battery box area with a Dremel tool and just be able to slide those hard case packs in. But anyway, still a fun rig, something to check out if you like rock racers. So on to some of the stuff that came in last week. I showed you guys some of the stuff that came in the previous week. And one of the boxes I didn't open up and inside was actually this right here, the Kyosho Mad Wagon. And nobody guessed it. A lot of people guessed the Tundra, which was pretty close. I think they share some parts, but the Mad Wagon is gonna make an appearance on the RC Driver Online channel soon. Uh, after I get through all the other stuff that basically I showed you guys last week, there was some rain. I wasn't able to get out and do some testing and video shoots, but I did get something in that I really, really needed. And here's another spoiler. Uh, you guys saw the two big arm of fist scales that were on the channel last week. I did kind of a quick overview for people that don't know much about them because there's so many new people always coming into this hobby. And I actually ran into a problem with uh, the, uh, it was the Creighton that kept shutting off on me when I was doing the top speed run. And I found out the problem was actually the battery packs. I had a bunch of people tell me it was a speed controller. I needed a new one. Nope, it was the batteries. Uh, there was a bad cell in one of them. Well, not a bad cell, but one cell was pretty far off. Uh, so I'm going to try to recover that. And then one of the other packs, uh, it was at like 40% where the other pack, its twin pack was at 80%. So it was just doing a low voltage cutoff thing. So that's what it was supposed to do. So I got the battery packs. They just came in and I've got a bunch of spectrum packs that I go throw in now. Finally finish up that fist scale testing. So that's what's in this box. And then I got a couple other things in this week. It was kind of a light week, which is good because I got a lot of stuff to do. One of the things that came in is the new Fly Sky Speed Controller Receiver Combo. And this actually, I think, is going to come in the Element Night Walker. I thought I saw a picture of, uh, with the Speed Controller Receiver Combo in it. And it actually does up to six light channels. So you can plug in six different LED lights and it will control functionality. And uh, it's got a six amp BEC. I forgot the other ratings on it, but I'll, I'll do a quick little video on that. And then I got these tracks of stuff in. So they're going to have the body mount sets. So you could do clipless body mounts on the slashes. That is very cool. We're really excited about that. Then they also sent their new car stands and th those look pretty sweet. A little on the pricey side, but it's a very cool stand and it fits their cars really well. So there is that and that's what matters to some people. And then finally, guys, check this out. The Rolarlo came in, the AK787. I haven't had any Rolarlo vehicles and they reached out. This one looked really cool, so I, I had to try it. It's a speed run car, I think, and it looks like it should be fun for driving around as well. So 
that's what's happening. That's what's coming up this week It'll, after I finish up everything that I showed you the previous week. So lots of stuff always in the works. And hopefully these updates are getting you psyched for stuff that you're going to see here on the channel. Now, I think I'm going to actually go out and fly the Hero Copter that I showed you. See you next Monday.